Hello and welcome back to the Wii U 5. Cosplayers are oftentimes fans of the very characters they recreate. We already know that cosplaying is a very time-consuming passion, so it takes a vetted interest to make these recreations. Today we have someone who is very passionate about Nintendo. Let's say hello to Ireland. Hello Ireland, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? As per the usual, barely alive. <laughs> Aren't we all? So I want to ask you about that jewel-encrusted master Pokeball. Ah, this one. It's so shiny. Um, basically, what I wanted to do uh, when I unveiled my Peach originally, I wanted a really good prop. Because I feel like sometimes if you're going to cosplay, you've got to have a, a prop. And I feel like there wasn't a lot to the Peach who cosplay. So I wanted to create an amazing uh, prop for it. <laughs> Watch this interview. Yeah. Ireland Reed licks balls. Moving into your cosplays, what are some of your more ambitious ones and why did you choose them? The characters themselves, their personalities, will already leave an impression in your mind. So when I do a cosplay, I want to be able to kind of bring forth what that character, what I feel that character, you know, has, you know, to, to show. And I feel that when I do my cosplays, they need to be heavy in detail. Now, a lot of, you know, my newer ones that are coming out are very intricate with over a hundred hours put into each piece. The piece that I've done the most with would have to be Emma Frost, which was about two and a half months and over 85,000 individually placed Swarovski crystals, not even alone actually sewing and making the materials. So it was very, very intricate for me. Now you also go beyond cosplaying. You're a bikini model and you clearly keep very fit. Now gamers aren't exactly strong on the health side of things, so do you have a couple of things you could recommend for them? Uh, I always recommend drinking water and in between when you're waiting on logging in or waiting for a party, doing your raid, doing a few crunches, getting up, stretch, you know, just walking around. Bringing things more to Nintendo, have you heard of Amiibo? I actually have a Pikachu Amiibo right here. Actually, yes, I. Oh, he's so. I just want to hug him. Can I hug him? No. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, I actually have a few amiibos. I love them. So, if you have some amiibo, have you been training them in Smash Brothers? Sadly, no. I uh, I keep them all boxed up, so they're in their little nest. I keep them in their little nest, and I just touch the box like this. I don't get that opportunity because. You know, when I got them, oh, they were like, oh, they're being discontinued and stuff. And I'm like, well, I don't even know if I want to. I would never really sell them, but I just like keeping them and collecting them. Are you one of those people who hoarded a bunch of them? No, I think that's so lame. You shouldn't be a, you know, killjoy. You shouldn't ruin it for other people. I can't use the words that I want to say, but I just, I really think it's kind of a, you know, unethical. I just think it's plain stupid. I think unethical is a nice word. I would just call it just flat out stupid, retarded, all those nice words. I was going to say dick, but I can't say <laughs> So you imply that you already have Smash Brothers, which means you probably already have a Wii U, am I right? I actually do have a Wii U, and I love the fact that you can either play it actually on the big Wii U pad, or you can play it on the TV. Do you own any other gaming systems, and do you do any streaming? Um, I actually own tons of other gaming systems. I pretty much have every gaming system ever known to man. So this all means you're pretty good at video games, right? I'm not going to say that I'm excellent. In some games I do excel more than others, but I would say that I do play all video games. I still have a lot to learn in some, but I'm not unwilling to learn. I'd like to thank you for taking the time out to do this interview. I know you're on a really busy schedule, so I do really appreciate this. Of course, absolutely. You know what, this is uh, exceptionally great, and thanks for taking the time to actually ask me questions and challenge me to some fun games at Smash. So, I'm very excited. Did I challenge you? <laughs> oh, you did. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. That's it for today. I'm sure you're falling head over heels for Ireland, so I've put her Facebook and Twitter and YouTube channel links in the video description below. I clearly have smaller boobs, but I'd still appreciate it if you liked my Facebook page, followed me on Twitter, and subscribed for more Wii U sort of-ish content delivered directly to your retinas. I'll see you next time on the Wii U 5. Well, you see the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Show off the Master Pokeball. Everyone's like, I don't see the Master Pokeball. <laughs> you should try decaf, Ireland. You should try it. It's, it's nice. I've only had one cup today. <laughs> what size is the cup? <laughs>